Right. Hey. See, you all are in for a treat. Yeah. We have an expert panel that we brought here today, three individuals. They want to come on up and get their chair set up here. And I just want to talk to the audience about the three special guests that we have. Um, you know, they're here to, or down here. Um, so, you know, you all come here, we give you entertainment, but we actually care about you a lot. And we brought an expert panel that can answer any of your questions, any of your troubles, your woes, your sorrows. Share them with the expert panel. So let's first introduce this panel. So please inter introduce yourself to everyone. Hello, my name is Stephen, <laughs> and I'm a Fusaf at Diesel Seat I Diesel. You what? I'm a Fusaf. Oh. Where about you? Uh, I work at Cecil. I make the best souffles you've ever had. Want to introduce yourself to everyone? I am Dr. Miranda Tilden, PhD. I'm an economy professor. My name is uh, Milos. Only one word. <laughs> and I make alcoholic soup. <laughs> so, any questions we have for our, our panel today? Question: What's the deep burning questions you want to want to have answered? Do I have a question? Sure. Yeah. Some of my chickens aren't laying eggs, and I don't know why or what I should do. Yeah. What do you do? <laughs> I'll start. Yeah. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to develop excellent knife skills and you'll scare the eggs right out of your chicken. <laughs> I recommend a controlled study uh, where you record each day what chicken is consuming what and what chicken is releasing an egg out of its universal egg poop sex shoot. Um, and then you proceed, it's true, that's what chickens have, a universal poo egg sex shoe. Um, every egg you consume is poo and sex on it. Um, anyhow, uh, then proceed to squeeze the chickens because if there's an egg in a chicken and it's not coming out, that chicken just needs to try harder. <laughs> Squeezing is helpful. Doctor, that's great advice. You don't agree? No. Where I come from, if you want female to reproduce, oh you need passion. Oh so you must feel the chicken. Be the chicken. And then make love the chicken. <laughs> yeah, that's one way to get some eggs. Someone over here have a question? Do you want to ask the panel? I keep having a, a recurring nightmare about talking furniture, and I was just wondering if you could tell me how to, you know, fix it. Yeah, thank you. Recurring yeah. nightmare about talking furniture. So, you, doctor. How much she just wants? Uh, furniture doesn't talk. <laughs> um, have you um, been exposing yourselves to creative activities? <laughs> I think so. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Do I need to be boring? Uh, you don't need to be boring. You need to be appropriate and rational. <laughs> Actually, this can happen if you have too much alcoholic soup. So you might want to lay off of that. Thank you. Yes. Uh, I, I recommend um, my mom's sleep remedy. It, it, it's some sour cream and some seltzer, and you mix it, oh, and then you take a quick stop, <laughs> and then you lay and you count feet, and then the stuff doesn't talk anymore. I don't recommend counting sheep. That <laughs> activates your imagination. <laughs> <laughs> but their feet, they're not talking phonogens. You're envisioning something that's not there. You're losing touch with reality. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, well, this is really interesting. I mean, you're an economist, but also, do you have a background in psychology? It's pretty cool. What stuff did you know? I know a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> Very knowledgeable. Uh, we have a question for you, doctor. Uh, yeah, did you have a question? 
that the children, can you get some? So we set it up. Get some what? <laughs> <laughs> I think I can take this answer. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> we have a, a, a special running at Thiefels right now. It's a dessert platter that that it, it, it's a, a you, you choose beforehand if you want naked man or naked woman, and that helps you. Yeah. It, it goes in with the talking furniture too. <laughs> you know, I that is sweet for me. Uh, someone wanted to know, the panel, uh, what can they do if their dad is not proud of them? It's serious stuff. <laughs> why, why do you think I have to invent alcoholic soup? <laughs> <laughs> so I recommend one liter a day. Hot, cold, it gets the job done. <laughs> Is he working hard? Is he succeeding? If you work hard, you succeed. Thus, one's father would become proud. I don't know the backstory. He's just an egg on Twitter. So, um, <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be in the worst place. Or yeah. But his profile was him. He did. So. <laughs> Uh, I just think uh, that this individual needs to work harder. Um, we don't have any responsibility to anyone other than ourselves. Yeah, true stuff. It's true life. Stephen, what do you think? Why? Why do you have to bring dad into it? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm sorry, I didn't know. I was just meeting with friends. What's the handle on that one? It was he, him, dude. That's my dad! <laughs> I'm so sorry. I think our panel's had enough. We'll take a break. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here.